Hey everyone, here's how to get started with version 1 of the serverless framework. We're going to build a simple REST API. Now there are many tools to build REST APIs with, but for APIs or lots of other use cases, you should consider using the serverless framework for these big reasons. First, the framework divides the logic in your application into multiple independent functions and deploys these functions onto Amazon's new cloud computing service called AWS Lambda. And these functions are powerful. In this tutorial, we're making a function that responds to an HTTP request. But these functions are designed to be event-driven and can be triggered by other events than just an HTTP request, like scheduled events or when something is saved to a database. Further, these functions will scale to meet any traffic or load automatically. There is little to zero maintenance required by you. Lastly, you are billed only if and when your functions run. You will incur no charges if your functions are never called. So just to recap, you could deploy a thousand functions right now, and you won't have to operate them since they scale automatically. You won't have to pay for them unless they run, and the serverless framework will help you manage all of them easily. It doesn't get more efficient than that. The framework is a command line tool written in Node.js. To install it, make sure you have Node.js version 4 or greater installed, then run npm install serverless with the global flag. Now make a directory for your first serverless project, cd into it, and run serverless create with a template option and aws nodejs as the value. This creates the scaffolding of a serverless project. The serverless framework is multi-language, so you can use it to deploy Python and Java functions, but we're only going to go over Node.js in this tutorial. In your folder, you will now have three files, handler.js, which contains the code of your functions, event.json, which is where you will keep the test data to trigger your functions with, and most importantly, serverless.yaml. Serverless.yaml is where you define your project's functions, as well as the events that trigger them. Additionally, you can define other infrastructure resources in here to use with your functions, like AWS DynamoDB tables, S3 buckets, Kinesis streams, and more. Everything in serverless.yaml is combined and translated to a single AWS CloudFormation template and deployed as one unit. The serverless framework does all of this behind the scenes. Our first function has already been added in here. Its handler property points to a specific export in our handler.js file, meaning this is the code that will be executed and this message will be returned from our function and our REST API endpoint. In our world, there are only functions and events, and all HTTP endpoints are classified as an event. To add an endpoint, let's put an events property here, which contains an array in YAML. Let's add an HTTP event and its path and method. Functions can have multiple events. For example, you could have multiple HTTP endpoints pointing to this function, which people do when they have a lot of logic in one function. We recommend writing your functions to perform a single job. It's better separation of concerns, besides the framework helps you deploy many functions easily. The job of our function is to provide a simple response. And now that we've connected it to an HTTP endpoint, that's basically it. All that's left is if you don't have access credentials for AWS, you have to get them. But we'll go over that in another video link below because I already have access credentials configured and we're ready to deploy. Run serverless deploy. The framework helps you easily deploy your project to any region and stage you want. Just pass in region and stage options. However, the framework defaults to region US East 1 and also defaults to a dev stage, so we'll just rely on that. The first deployment takes a few minutes because AWS has to create a lot of initial resources. When it's done, you'll see an API endpoint return that points to your Lambda function. So let's try it. It shows our message specified in the handler. Once you update your code, use serverless deploy function to do faster deployments. You can also use serverless logs to stream logs into your console. To wrap up, for every business problem your application seeks to solve, the serverless framework will help you to deploy a super efficient function to solve it. Check out the documentation for more info. We've got some examples for you, and there's about 2,000 people in our chat room waiting to help. Enjoy.